Are you ready to come with me? Because we're headed to Africa, the Great Migration, the Serengeti, and the Maasai Mara. And I've got some insider travel secrets of how you can explore Kenya and the Great Migration. I'm Larry Gelwix, the getaway guru. The purpose of my travel channel is to help you see the world, travel more, and pay less. Now, if you're new to my travel channel, remember the big three. Subscribe, turn on the notifications, that's the little bell that you see on your screen. And if you like this video, please do me a favor and give me a thumbs up. That's the like button. Now, do you ever dream of exotic, one-of-a-kind, out-of-the-way places? When I dream of a travel adventure, I dream of an African safari and the Great Migration. Now, I've been to Africa so many times. I've been on safaris everywhere on the continent. But last year, my wife Kathy and I did something that we hadn't done before. We went to Kenya during the Great Migration. Now, the Great Migration is the world's largest migration of animals. It takes place July to September and only in Kenya and Tanzania. In my 40 years of traveling the world, I thought I had seen and done everything. Like I said, I've been to Africa many, many times. I was not prepared for the experience, the sheer volume of animals. The Great Migration has over 2 million animals on the move. And of course, we all look for the big five, don't we? The elephant, Cape buffalo, leopard, lion, and rhino. Now, I love the lions. We did see the big five just about every day, but I just really love the lions. And on my other safaris to Africa, you know, you do see lions and you might see five, six, seven or eight a day. But we decided on the Great Migration, we're out on the Serengeti and the Maasai Mara, that we're going to count how many lions we see in a single day. 28. And you know that number was about the same every day because it's the Great Migration. Now, on another experience on my last safari to Africa in Kenya, we were, we were in our vehicle and we stopped by the side of a small lake. And this, the stillness, the rawness of Africa. And then the ground was almost shaking ever so slightly, and we could hear a rumbling coming over the top of the bluff. A herd of Cape buffalo, some uh, 300 or more, they came down right to the lake. They surrounded the vehicle. They wallowed in the mud. They take their drinks of water. There was the young babies and, and all of the Cape Buffalo there. And then after, oh, maybe a half hour or so, they moved on. And it was the stillness of Africa again. And then we heard something in the distance. And there was a herd of 20-plus elephants coming right at us, and they surrounded us. They went past us. They took their drink in the lake. And we had, you know, the whole herd, including a baby elephant that our guides estimated was maybe a week or two weeks old. That is Africa. What completely overwhelms your senses is the sheer number of animals, something I was not prepared for. You know, I would read the history accounts of the Western migration here in the United States. And the settlers would talk about the valley or the mountainside being dark with herds of buffalo. I don't think I really understood that until I went to Kenya, Africa, and the Great Migration. We would see as far as the eye could take us, the valleys, the mountains being completely dark with buffalo, with wildebeest, with herds of zebras. And, you know, we started counting animals. By day three of our last safari, we had counted and seen over 50 species of animals. And this did not include any of the birds. In Kenya, there are over 
50 game parks. Now, there's no fences on any of the game parks. This is not a zoo. It's wild, raw, untamed Africa. Now, my favorite game parks include Samburu, Old Pajeta, of course, the Serengeti and the Maasai Mara, and Amboseli is another really good one. Every year, I host great migration safaris. I use the same guides in Africa. I stay in the same first-class lodges located right in the middle of the game park, even use the same specially designed Toyota Land Cruisers. Now, these Land Cruisers can seat eight guests, but we never do that. I never put more than four people per Toyota Land Cruiser so that you can move around and get that favorite photo. Now, what I want to do right now is show you some video and photos from a recent Great Migration Safari, and I've included some comments from some of our guests. Oh, you've got to go to Africa. Africa is, it's amazing. Just, it's over the top, I guess, of everything. I've traveled a bunch of different places and nothing was, is anything like Africa. told all my kids and everybody I talk to, if Africa's not on your bucket list, it needs to be, and do it sooner rather than later. The whole time I was there, I kept thinking, I want everyone I know to experience it. This is the most amazing trip. You can't even describe how wonderful it is. I'm Jim Gee of Discovery Expeditions. We're grateful for Columbus Travel giving us this opportunity to share Kenya on this safari experience with you. 26 years ago, I went to Kenya for the first time and fell in love with it. I visited all the countries of the big, large continent of Africa, and I kept being drawn back to Kenya. It was my first and, and continues to be the best place to observe this beautiful wildlife. And I've been coming back ever since. I then started my own business so that I could rely on having good drivers and good vehicles so that my experience would be maximized. What makes us unique is we are a small company owned and operate our own vehicles and have expert guides working with us. This trip will seem more like a personal private tour than it will be a group tour. We'd like to share this itinerary with you, which is a special itinerary we prepared for Columbus Travel to give you the uh, migration or East African experience. You will arrive in Nairobi, the capital of Kenya. There we will meet you at the airport and transfer you by private land cruiser to our accommodations in Nairobi. We'll spend one night there. On the following morning, we will take a five hour drive north of the equator to a place called Sambru. Sambru's will spend our first two nights there at a campsite that is located up on a hill overlooking the river. There we'll have opportunities to see the special animals from that area, such as the reticulated giraffe, the geranuk, 
the gravy zebra, and of course, the Somali ostrich. Sambru is also known for its unbelievable population of leopards. It's probably the best place on the continent to observe a leopard in the wild, and we like to share that opportunity with you. You'll love Sambru for its off-road ambience and its rustic uh, outdoors. The beauty is uncomparable. We then move on to Sweetwaters, or the Old Pacheta. There we will camp in luxury tented camp right on the equator, right in front of the 17,000 foot Mount Kenya. And we'll also have a beautiful water hole right in front of your tent. There you'll observe animals coming in to the water hole, from zebra to giraffe, elephant, and of course the elusive black rhino. That's the primary reason we like staying at Old Pajeta. It's the best place in the world to see black rhino in the wild. Currently, there's only 2,000 of these beautiful animals left in the world, and Old Pajeta has the highest population of black rhino and will give us many opportunities to see them. We'll also have an opportunity to see the Jane Goodall Chimpanzee Sanctuary, which is located just down the street from our camp. So we'll have a great time there. We'll still see all the animals, all of the big five in that area. Before we then, after two nights there, move on to the Maasai Mara, which is the jewel of Africa. We will not drive the 11 hour drive, but we will take a bush plane that will fly us right into the Maasai Mara. As soon as we land and are picked up by our drivers and our custom land cruisers, we will then go out and enjoy the migration as we drive amongst the millions of wildebeest and migrating zebra. We'll also see all of the other animals that are traveling with them, such as the Thompson's gazelle, the elan, and uh, a heart beast. Also all the varieties of birds, and of course um, the lions and the predators that follow these great herds. We'll then camp at a very luxurious tented camp and there we will be able to look overlook the Mara River spend three nights along the Mara River. We will have multiple opportunities to go and see these great migrating wildebeest where we'll watch them cross the great Mara River where any of you that have followed National Geographic show all the drama that takes place on that, that river. The crocodiles, the lions, will be all a part of that. We'll be mixed in there with them and see all of that drama. Now, most companies only allow two game drives a day. We have unlimited game drives. If you want to spend the whole day there, we'll pack a lunch and we'll be out on the savannah the whole day. It's totally up to you. That's why we only put four in a vehicle that is designed to hold eight, and you'll have plenty of room and have plenty of opportunities to observe and enjoy these magnificent animals. After our great experience in the Masai Mara, we will then continue on to Lake Navasha. There we'll take a boat ride so you can be eye level with great hippos and all the beautiful bird wildlife in that area. We'll there spend a night there in Lake Navasha, right on those shores, and then on the following day, travel back and make our loop back to Nairobi. On that last day, we'll get you opportunities to see the elephant orphanage, which is world famous for saving those orphaned elephants, and then they turn them out into the wild. You'll be able to see and touch those beautiful orphaned elephants. And we'll complete our journey there in Nairobi. We will then have a farewell dinner at the famous carnivores restaurant, 
and then escort you back to the airport for your international flight home. Once again, we'd like to thank you for taking this opportunity to see our video on uh, East Africa. And we uh, look forward to maybe uh, sharing this great uh, adventure with you. Uh, there's also some add-ons you can add on. And once you've done our 10-day uh, safari, we also have uh, gorilla trekking in Rwanda, which is an amazing three-day adventure in the Volcano National Park there where you can observe the last of the mountain gorillas. We also have Amboseli National Park, which is a great three-day trip to see Mount Kilimanjaro. We also do um, Victoria Falls on the Zambia-Zimbabwe border, which is a great three-day tour, which includes a helicopter ride over the falls. So there's lots of things you can add on to your safari if you have additional time, and we'd love to share those things with you as well. Again, uh, East Africa is like no other place on earth, and we look forward to sharing that great adventure with you. Thank you. Thanks for joining me in Kenya and the Great Migration. There's really nothing like it in the world. Hey, if you're interested in traveling with me, the Getaway Guru, on one of my Africa and Great Migration safaris, give us a call at Columbus Travel, 800-373-3328, or send me an email at info at columbusvacations.com. And by the way, if there's a topic or a destination that you'd like me to do a video on, send me an email to the same address, info at columbusvacations.com. Now, remember in Africa, the big five are animals. But with me, remember the big three. Please subscribe, turn on the notifications, and do give me a thumbs up if you've liked this video. And as always, stay healthy. Stay safe. Happy traveling.